So you have babies that are used for even for the purpose of organ harvesting to extract their stem cells and even for pornography as crazy as it sounds you know so everyone can be trafficked human trafficking the recruitment transportation transfer harboring or a seat of people through force fraud or deception with the aim of exploiting them for profit it is a global evil with at least 9.2 million known cases of people trafficked in Africa alone. The majority are girl children. Families in the grip of poverty are often easy and targeted prey. These agents approach them and tell them, you know what, I can help you. Give me one or two of your children and we'll take them to homes where they will give them good food, they will send them to school, and they will pay them to work. At the age of 12, this teenager was taken from Togo and forced into domestic labor thousands of kilometers away in Gabon. She managed to escape after five years and found refuge in this shelter for exploited children. I was doing everything. Often I worked from 6 to 11 or 10. Then we would go to bed and get up at 3 or 4 and work until 11. Every day it was the same. In Africa, um, where child labor is not really seen as, 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 as a crime, when you have that kind of culture and mindset, there's a problem. The prevalence of traffickers reaches far beyond rural villages on the continent. The internet has become a tool of choice for predators, giving them easy access to potential victims via their mobile phones. Many traffickers promise jobs, wealth, and educational opportunities. Once trapped, children are forced into the dark world of labor, crime, and prostitution. Most of them who are forced into prostitution uh, have had unwanted pregnancies that have been terminated in the crudest of fashions. Most of them have gone through all sorts of uh, uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Most of them have been beaten up so badly for not wanting to cooperate when their bodies are tired. You know, so these girls have gone through a lot of mental and emotional trauma. Depression also sets in. Some of them become suicidal. They don't want to leave because for them, the essence of living is defeated. The major cause of trafficking, I will tell you, is ignorance lack of education, lack of awareness on what human trafficking and the indicators of human trafficking are. If we have human trafficking as a subject infused in the school curricula, these girls will be ready. They will know what human trafficking is. They will be armed to protect themselves. And that's why it's very important for education at the primary and secondary school level to be free and compulsory Every girl must go to school, must. Sub-Saharan countries in particular serve as both resource and destination for trafficked children. Africa's trafficked children were detected in a large number of countries in almost every region of the world in 2018. At present, 38 African countries have ratified the United Nations protocol to prevent, suppress and punish the trafficking of persons. Ghana and Nigeria lead the pack, having established specialized police forces to combat trafficking. There's no situation that has not been anticipated and then taken care of when it comes to policy. But when it comes to implementation and practice, they're two different things altogether. Um, I would always say that prevention is key in the fight against human trafficking. Prevention through awareness and sensitization. For more on this topic, read the latest free edition of African Fact by clicking on the link below.